China's ruling party, the CPC, marked its 100th founding anniversary this year. In this episode on the CPC centenary, I'll explore a serious but interesting topic, Chinese democracy. Of course, the way China pursues democracy is quite different from how it's done in the West. The Chinese nation began to learn about democracy just over a century ago, but soon found that Western-style politics didn't work here. So what does Chinese-style democracy mean exactly? Well, a distinctive feature of the CPC's leadership system is something called democratic centralism, which combines the strengths of both democracy and efficiency. I'm in Tianjin, a port city next to Beijing. In recent years, this human resources service center in Tianjin, eastern China, has been helping residents in western China to land jobs as part of the East-West Pairing Up Poverty Relief Assistance Program advocated by the country. Every time a major decision needs to be made, the center's party committee holds in-depth discussions. I guess the meeting's about to finish, so let's go inside. Uh, Yangan 所以呢最近工作呢大家是有些疑虑但是呢我们秉承民集中制的研究我们中心呢假设呢有八个党部充分的清局我们党支部的每个成员的意见将他们意见充分的采纳和归总然后最后会轮到我们总支形成一个统一
most of which are related to migrant workers' well-being. In China, there are thousands of national legislators like Zhang. They're elected from every sector of society, and when they attend legislative sessions, they speak for the people. Well, Chinese-style democracy goes far beyond electoral democracy. It also includes consultation as a virtue. So on many occasions, it's more of a system of consensus building. The CPC cooperates with non-communist parties, which formulate proposals and participate in the discussion and handling of state affairs. Within China's top political advisory body, at least 60% are not CPC members.新冠疫情爆发了以后呢，我就针对的新冠疫情呢，我提了一些提案，比如说二零二零年我提出了加强生物安全法、呃法律法规和废物处理的提案的。二零二零年十月份，全国人大常委会就通过了生物安全法。
“十四五”规划，它在前期应该有上百个课题组去开展方方面面的研究，集思广益，凝聚全国各个行业的专家的智慧，需要去更多的让老百姓发声。看到编制从开始到最后的结束，其实都是有老百姓的持续不断的广泛的参与。所以，我觉得在。我们国家的发展规划这样一个领域，可以非常好的看到全过程民主它的体现。Chinese President Xi Jinping has said, "Democracy is not a decoration, but a means of solving problems." Over the past decades, Chinese-style democracy has helped the country improve in an all-round way. New China has grown from an economic backwater to the world's second-largest economy, and has eradicated absolute poverty among its 1.4 billion population. China's success has shown there's more than one model of democracy in the world that can produce good governance, and that alternatives do exist.